Jeannie's Designs, and I'm getting ready to do um, a requested pattern by one of our fellow uh, YouTubers, and it is the Nuga pattern by Kadeel Handmade. She's given me permission to do her pattern, and I am going to make it without the card slots. You know, most of the things that I make, I do use the card slots, or I put them in. This time, I'm not going to do the card slots, um, just for a different, uh, different way to go. All right. So pattern piece A, I have one exterior and one lining. Here is part of my exterior. And here is my lining. So I have two of those. I kind of went crazy with the old uh, fabric today. It doesn't completely match, but I'm okay with that. And then panel uh, piece A, I have two exterior. This is my exterior for that. And I have three interior out of just a uh, medium weight waterproof canvas. So I have five pieces of that. Uh, Patterson piece B is the hidden zipper cover. I am gonna do that. I kind of like those actually. And here's the piece that I'm gonna use for that. This is their text, by the way. We'll see, I ha I'm not using any interfacing whatsoever. And then pattern piece E, I'm using um, just two zipper pocket linings out of the waterproof canvas. And then I have pattern piece F, which is uh, two ring connectors. I just have it um, one piece, I'll divide it in two. Pattern piece G, I have two um, strap anchors, so I have two of those, and that's just out of my floral vinyl. And then I have um, an inside zipper pocket, an inside zipper with a zipper pull. Then I have the outside uh, front zipper, which I have already put on my um, zipper tabs. I haven't sewn it yet. And then my top zipper, I have two zipper tabs on that. I have not sewn yet. I think that's it. I have the pattern pulled up here. Let me just look. Oh, C and D are the uh, card slots. I, I thought I was missing a couple, but I'm not, because I'm not gonna do those. So that's what we have. So let's get started. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click like, subscribe, and comment, and um, feel free to share. Get my light there. I'll be right, All right back. All right, let's see our zipper ends on here. I am using pink. Um, thread today. And like I said, I've got the pattern pulled up here. Yeah. So this is my uh, front, I mean my top pocket zipper. So I am just gonna fold that over to top stitch and then I'll cut off the excess. It's waterproof canvas. And even if it frays a little bit, it'll be on the inside. This top piece is completely encased. So let's just cut that off just like that. And let's do the other side. I normally do not do zipper tabs on both sides, but I kind of decided that I was going to do it as per the pattern, except for the card slots. Yeah, just going rogue, just a hair. You know, one thing that um, I gotta get in a better habit of is holding my threads. I'm not very good at that. 
And I pay the price because I get little bunches in the back. So I'll work on that, I promise. Sound like a, a Girl Scout. I was never a Girl Scout. I was a Bluebird. All right, so that's my top zipper is done. Now let's work on this one. I've got stuff everywhere here. I gotta get rid of that. And this one, I believe, is the same. Yep. Okay. So let's hold our um, thread. See what difference that made. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how about that? All right, and then turn that over, and we're just going to top stitch that. You know, this Theratex, I've only sewn with it a couple times, and I really like it so far. It's got a nice, soft feel to it. All right, so that's what you have. Let's do that on the other side. And you don't really need to interface it, depending on what you're using it for. I will say that. I'm going to do my D-ring connectors, and that's just, um, I'm using one inch hardware today, so this is a two inch piece that I divide it in half, and I'm folding the raw edges on the ins to the inside. No big secret there from the pattern. That's a pretty typical um, size. Alright, I'm going to stitch down each side. save my scissors this time. I mean, I could sharpen them, and I, and I have. I, I shouldn't act like I don't sharpen my scissors, because I do. I should say I don't sharpen them. My husband does. Okay, I'm just going to cut that in half with my cutting scissors, not my thread scissors. Okay. And I'm going to put on my D rings, or I'm using these triangular rings. I don't use them very often, but I decided I would today. Now I am 
Good, I just base these together on the end. Now, let me see what she has next in the pattern. Um, okay, yeah, that's what I thought. All right, let's uh, put, get our scrap anchors, which is pattern piece G. And we're gonna fold that long edge together. Probably would've been better if I didn't use um, vinyl, but that's okay. And we're gonna pull that out. She, there's a little discretion here, according to her pattern. Pardon me. And we're gonna sew across the top, just like that. Oops, it moved on me, didn't it? That's not good. Let's see if that's better. Okay, let's do the other one. Long side, fold it in. And add your, I'm gonna call them D-rings. The thing you wanna do is make sure that there's this, if they're about the same coming out. They're even. And I just eyeballed it. Okay, and then we're gonna sew across that end. What's my seam allowance here? Yeah. And then we'll turn that right side out and top stitch it closed. You know what, before I do that, yeah, no, that's okay. Uh, I was gonna say I'll trim it, but oops, oops. Doesn't really need it. This vinyl I did get a long time ago from your vinyl source. All right, so that's what you have. Now we're gonna close that and top stitch it. I'm gonna cut that off. I'll do it with my other scissors in a minute. This eighth of an inch. So that's what you have. Isn't that cute? It's a tiny little thing. Okay. Let's do the same over here. And I'm gonna start right there. Okay. 
here's a bunch of patterns that use this method. I really like this method, actually. It's so small, it's hard to get a good grip on it. It's funny. I hope you can't hear the TV in there, sorry. Okay, let's top stitch. Get the needle out of the way. that um, I'm talking about from your vinyl sources. Um, Laurel sews like a dream. All her vinyl does, actually. It's beautiful. Okay, so there's our two strap anchors. All right, let's set those aside for just a minute and see what she has. Uh, card slots are next, I'm not doing those. Uh, we'll do the interior zipper pocket. Okay. Here's my zipper pocket, and here's my little baby zipper. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna grab one of my lining pieces. And this lining piece had a, uh, I have a lot of cuts in my pieces. I'm not sure why. Let me fix it. This is really hard to tell, uh, which is the right side. The right side actually has a little softer feel to it. Okay, so on the right side, I'm gonna measure down uh, let me let me uh, center my pieces. Hold on. okay. Take one of your lining pieces and lay one of your lining pocket pieces right side down on with the measurements that she gives you in the pattern and draw a box. Now we're gonna sew, whoops. I'm gonna sew around that box just like any other zipper pocket. centered by the way I am just, uh, my, uh, waterproof canvas was, uh, fraying just a little bit. All right, let's cut into that zipper. And we'll pull that to the back and I will go iron it.
I try and have really good light when I'm cutting those. <laughs> okay, all right, let's pull that to back. This, this uh, waterproof canvas does uh, finger puss pretty well, so I think I'll still go iron it though. Yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, pretty good. Now I am gonna put some double side tape here. on my zipper at the very end. Just so I can secure that. I don't remember who did it, who told me about this, but whoever suggested uh, the sewer's aid, it's a wonderful thing actually. Okay, I'm gonna have my zipper pull closing to the left. In fact, I probably should put some on there. Okay. All right, now we're going to sew around that all the way around. And then we'll add our other pocket piece. And I'm going to backstitch this. So there's your inside zipper, and we're going to add our other pocket piece right on top. I just got the new blades for my... Uh, scan and cut. I can't wait to see the difference. I don't think we leave a hole here. Let me just verify. Yep. Nope, we don't. Okay, so let's uh, start at the top here and we're going to go all the way around. Check our pocket. There we go. Cute little pocket. Okay, what's next? 
All right, so that is finished. I'm trying to decide where I'm gonna put my tag. I'm gonna put it somewhere on the outside, so we'll set that aside for now. And I'm gonna grab my tag. And just have it ready to go. All right, let me get that. All right, so pieces. take one exterior and one lining, full panel, and cut those into two pieces as she gives you directions in the pattern. And then take your bottom piece, and we're going to, I should probably center my zipper here. Hold on. I centered everything else except that. And we're gonna lay that right sides down with the zipper pull going to the right. I know it feels weird. You could do it to the left if you want. Completely up to you. The key here is you just wanna make sure you have about the same amount of zipper tab on each side. And I do. And then we're gonna baste that in place. <clears throat> I have a big zipper pull here. These are beautiful zipper pulls, but they're a little bit thick, which is okay. It's just, uh, they're in my way a little bit. You will have a little extra zipper tab on each side, and that's perfectly normal. All right, now take yeah, sorry. Take your lining piece that is the same size, yeah. and we're going to clip that together. And so the full seam allowance. I'm using number five zipper tape. So. wrong sides together and top stitch. I'm using all different shades of pink. It's pretty funny, guys, I have to say. That's okay. I am doing my very best to use up what I have. And, I mean, I'm trying. I'm still wanting some other stuff, but... I'm trying to refrain. Okay. All right, let's top stitch that. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so that's what you should have. Cute. 
there's something about this pink and uh, lighter pink stripe that reminds me of something. I forget what it is. All right, let's take, we're gonna do the exact same thing on the top here with our exterior and lining pieces. I'm trying to find my little center mark. And I might do these together. really hard to tell which is the right side you know some waterproof canvas if you scratch it you can tell you can't with this then it doesn't scratch it's probably because it's pink you know all right let's sew that together at the full seam allowance I'm probably about ready to run out of bottom And then we're going to fold those wrong sides together and top stitch as well. Cute. Cute, 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 cute. <laughs> All right, let me just make sure we're top stitching this. Hold on, I don't know where my hidden thing is. All right, is. I should have put my hidden um, piece in there, so I'm just not gonna use it. I actually like the hot pink zipper tape showing through, but I would have used it if I actually read the pattern. Like I, I did read it, but I didn't uh, remember. All right, so let's just top stitch this part. to go. So really, the hidden connector is supposed to come over and fold over this. I mean, if you're using a pretty zipper tape, you know, you don't need to do it. it it's just a nice little added feature, I think, which I really, I'm not going to rip things out to do it, though. Just not going to. Okay. All right, so that is our front. panel ready to go. Now we're going to take these two angled pieces you know I, it told me to cut um, three 
I think it told me to cut three exterior pieces. No, it said two. Hmm. I don't know. We'll find out. I might have to go cut a new piece. Another piece. All right, put these right sides together. I'm getting all my pieces. And we're gonna sew down these angled edges. At, what's my seam allowance? Okay. She shows you how to cut the corners off this piece to use for um, your strap anchors. It's actually a little late for that, but that's all right. Okay. All right, so let's turn that right side out. And I can't iron this because I've got vinyl, so I'm just going to clip it, roll my seam, and clip it for the moment. This is such gorgeous vinyl. It's funny, guys. I, I, I want so desperately. I've got all my bags that I saw on um, camera, most of them at 50% uh, off right now on my website because I wanna buy new, new fabrics. And I've got so many bags in there. You know, I sell some occasionally, frequently actually, but I have a lot left and I need to sell some. So if you're so inclined, 50% off right now. Not everything is 50% off, but most things. And if you see something that you want and it's not 50% off, just reach out to me. More than likely I'll do it. I wanna buy some new stuff. You know? Okay. All right, now. All right, take our remaining full exterior piece. Right here. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, now that I've got that together, I'm gonna clip my center. open okay I see and we're gonna just clip that on that front piece so see my madness here with these fabrics they look really pretty good together I think and we are gonna sew along the bottom edge and the top not the sides just yet oh you know what um, I'm 
gonna I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna put my um, tag right here. So I'll do that off camera. All right, I put my tag there, and I only went through this outer piece. I didn't go through um, the lining of this piece. So now we're gonna just sew across the top here. And then we'll sew across the bottom. Not the sides. I think you could do the size if you really wanted to, but all right, now we're going to grab our strap connectors and we're going to add those going up. And she has, um, Okay, yeah. Uh, she tells you how far down from the uh, top. My strap connectors seem really small. I don't know why. Hmm. I don't know. I must have, I don't know what I did. That's all right. And then our um, D rings or whatever ring you have is going up. So just make sure they're going up. And then we're going to baste those in place. Yeah, it says it should line up, but this, it doesn't. So, I'm okay with that. I don't know why it wouldn't. It'll be fine. It will be fine. Let's do the other side. It is lining up as far as... Um, yeah, distance. This one needs to come down just a little. Okay. Okay. There you go. All right, she gives you directions on uh, if you want to make it a wristlet instead. So I don't. I'm just going to make it, um, mine's not going to end up being a crossbody. That's what I'll use it for, probably. Um, okay, let's see what's next. Hold on. All right, I missed a step somewhere along the line. So take your other, fine, your other full lining panel and put that right sides together with your zipper. And we're gonna base that in place on all four sides. I knew there was something not quite right about that. I missed that step. But I caught it in time, thank goodness. I think I'm missing a lining panel. Let's see. Mm -hmm. 
you'll be able to learn from my mistakes. All right, so that is much better. Now we actually have a pocket. Hello. Okay. Now, with this piece, take your, uh, let me get there, take your zipper, your top zipper, and lay it right sides down uh, a certain distance. Uh, this may not be, I may have made this too big. Oh, no. No, I didn't. All right. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Uh, let's see. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, we're going to lay it right sides down. The amount she tells you to in the pattern. Hmm. There's something not right about this, but we'll see. Because I have another zipper tab now that's way off here. Oh, I'm sure it's something I did. And hold on a second. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we should have put this on, and that's okay, not a big deal. All right, now we're gonna take our inside lining piece and lay that right on top, centered. And we are gonna start and stop where she tells you to in the pattern. Huh. Okay, I gotta mark that so I can see it. And what's ours? Okay, so let's. Where's my zipper pull? Hold, please. Way down here. Okay. zipper pull out of the way. Okay, now stop down here where she tells you to. this on here. So I'm going to cut it off. Gosh, I completely misread that. That's all right. I'm going to cut that off. And we're going to put wrong sides together. And I'm going to put something here just for a minute. Center all my little pieces up down here. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. Okay. So with this, uh, I should have known better. So, um, yeah. Yeah, hmm. okay, I get it. She does it a very different way. I would have done this to begin with, and that's okay. So you're gonna pull that zipper down into your seam just like that. Okay. I need a clip that is a little bigger, there we go. All right. 
Now we're gonna top stitch that. Okay. Now, now it's making sense. You know, first time you do a pattern, it's just very different. Oh, my needle is right there. And just make sure you got everything pulled nice and tight. Don't over pull it, but. And then make sure that your zipper is tucked in there. I mean, that's actually a, a really cool way to do it. I am just used to doing it before I even get to this step, which is fine. I actually like it. Okay, so that's what you have. Your zipper is pulled down in there. <laughs> hmm. Very interesting. All right, let me read the next step. Okay, it finally dawned on me. I didn't do the card slot panel. So yes, I did need an extra piece of lining. Ugh. Sometimes I can be so thick. All right, we're gonna just put these on exactly like we did the other side. And we're going to uh, push our zipper in there just like we did in the front and she gives you the measurement for that uh, i am i'm sorry i uh i don't know why that was so hard for me i knew there was some reason why i needed that i needed an extra piece but <laughs> All right, we're gonna stop at that mark and then we're gonna turn our, and then we will turn our zipper in. You know, sometimes it's the easiest patterns that just throw you. And she has really good directions. I, I don't know, just thick. Okay, make sure your little D-rings not, are not getting in your seam. And you'll break a needle. I gotta find my zipper here. The other thing she does tell you is to reinforce this piece, which I will do once I get my zipper splayed out of there. I'm just gonna make sure that looks right, you know. Let me see. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Uh, I'm gonna do that now, hold on. Let's reinforce that, that top of that pocket piece. Yeah. And then, we'll turn the right sides out and wrong sides together. And we'll push our zipper in so it matches the other side. It's a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Perfect. And now let's top stitch that. Making sure that it's 
all lined up. With your little B rings out of the way. I really do like the way she did that. It's just so foreign to me. I've never done it that way before. So, I like it, actually. That way, you don't have to mess with doing it ahead of time. You know. All right, let's cut off our little excess tab here. Okay, all right. That is what you should have. Now you have, this is cute. You have a cute little pocket there. All right, now we're gonna put it all together and I'm gonna move my zippers in the middle here. And this one is probably okay. And we're gonna put outsides together. We're almost done. Except I gotta do the uh, my strap. And I picked some one inch webbing that has flares on it. It's a Zakura. I think I got it. Oh gosh, I think I got it from So Girly Fun. If I remember correctly. We are gonna leave a turning hole in the bottom here, and you know me, I'm gonna leave a big turning hole. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, let me just read through this so I make sure I'm not missing anything. I've, I've been terrible at missing things. Okay. Yep. What's my seam allowance though? Yeah, okay. <clears throat> so keep in mind there's a different seam allowance for the exterior than there is for the interior. So keep that in mind. And again, I'm gonna do my little 90 degree. Somebody said they didn't understand why I did that. And it's because it, there's a lot of stress when you turn through something like that. And it just gives it a lot more stability. That's all that is. It, it's not anything you would have to do. make sure that my hold on I gotta make sure my d-ring is not gonna get caught oh yeah it's gonna it's bent down that's why okay just go slow here it's pretty thick It's not a gay ring, it's my triangular ring. Same thing, gay ring. Okay, 
again, I'm gonna make sure that's up and out of the way. Do a little corner clip here and trim. I had a little excess, so I'm just trimming that. All four corners, I'm um, trimming. Let's turn it right side out. Sorry, <laughs> I always have to pull things to my body to turn. Okay. These are cute little bags. And Kathy at Kdale, she has great directions. Um, and she does things differently. So it's another pattern that I learned something different. And let's uh, close our turning hole. I have glue all over my hands from another project I was working. I've washed them like three or four times. It's uh, Pretty stout glue. I'm gonna have to get my little scrubber pad out. And scrub my hands. Okay, let's close that up. in there and get that situated. Get your corner poked out. Make sure your zipper pocket is poked out. How's this zipper pocket? Yeah, that's perfect. Go grab a um, 
slide adjuster. All right, here's what I'm going to use. <laughs> here's my slide adjuster. Up and over. And let's stitch that in place. And I'm going to decrease my stitch length just a little. I'm just going to do in one more row of stitching. And I won't, I'm not using rivets because it'll fray. You can. There's things that you can put on it to help prevent it from fraying, but I'm not doing it. Swivel clasp on, make sure it's not twisted up and over. Add your other swivel clasp. Make sure it's not twisted and sew that down. Again, two rows of stitches. Cute, very cute bag. I mean, the, the possibilities for this bag are just endless, really. There you go. All right, let me turn you around. All right, guys, this is the Nuka by K Dale Handmade. And this is a version without the card slots. Um, one reason I didn't do the card swap is because I use my purse pal and it's skinny. There it is. You got all, uh, there's a pocket, a huge front pocket here. Perfect for your phone. Or there's a zipper pocket back here that is also huge. You could put your uh, phone in there. And then on the inside, you have another zipper pocket. And it's actually pretty good size. This bag that I made today has absolutely zero interfacing. Zero. And it's, a, it's not a fancy bag by any means. Um, and I put on a um, crossbody strap need to make it a little smaller for me. Look at that. It's perfect. And the zipper is going up, so when I want to access it, I just open it, close it. And the back, the zipper is going up as well. That's why she does it that way. Smart girl. That's it. The Nougat, the Nougat by K. Dale Handmade. Go and try it.
And do the do the um, the credit card slots if you want. I gotta push this out a little bit more. It's bugging me. There we go. There we go. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click like, subscribe, and comment, and go try one, and join my Facebook group, and share what you're making. Bye-bye. Have a great day.